Hello, so I've finally got around to doing the uh, requested video of doing the sort of Fred style traffic warden outfit which is very iconic even though it's only in like 20 seconds of the film. Um, so obviously some of this you could vary depending on how you wanted to do it or what sort of fancy dress thing you were going to because you know maybe waving an SLR around a fancy dress party type thing wouldn't be a good idea. But the bandage is super easy to do um, because interestingly a lot of the behind the scenes making of Fred sort of commentaries they were explaining why so many people have bandages on because it would be basically too much budget to give people really creepy looking makeup of um, radiation burns and you know like third, second and first degree burns. So what they ended up doing was just basically putting dirty bandages or sheets on people uh, to make kind of so your mind did more stuff than that. So the Traffic Warden one, uh, if you look online you can find these old Traffic Warden caps which is basically what they have in the series. Although um, what you actually want to do if you can't get one of the proper ones is basically get any kind of bus conductor's cap or anything like that and then just have a yellow band that says Traffic Warden on it and then put it around the sort of cap because that's basically what they did. The Traffic Warden uniforms um, were basically just regular, you know, other uniforms. They just put a Traffic Warden thing on. They weren't like proper police style uniforms or whatever. So doing the bandage, uh, what this one is, is it's an old sheet that was obviously no good anymore. So it's been cut up. Um, I've put some glue on it and stuff. Under the bright light, you can't see it, but it is kind of like splodgy and dirty in places. Um, you know, you could always stain it with tea or whatever. Um, to make it look a bit more like a dirty old bandage, but it's actually just, you know, a sheet with two eye holes cut in it, essentially folded a few times, glued in places. This is an East German great coat, but I imagine any old big wool coat would do, and an L1A1 SLR. So, yep, this is your um, looter shooting um, sort of traffic warden thing. Again, sort of, you know, it's very strange that this became such an iconic thing from Fred's, because this, of course, was only in the film for, like, 20 seconds, but it is on all the covers generally of Fred's. So they have the traffic warden with the bandage around him, I guess, because it looks creepy and it's very authoritarian. Um, so, yeah, basically get any kind of bus conductor's cap if you can't get a traffic warden cap, then just make a band on it that says traffic warden, put that around there. Get some old sheets or bandages, cut two eye holes in them, tie them around the nose level for the um, that bit of it, and then obviously just do two eye holes in it. And then wear it with a great coat, sort of winter coat, and whatever gun of your choice would be. But yeah, that is very much the um, Fred sort of traffic warden uh, sort of design. And yep, yeah, I generally think it's a pretty cool and creepy sort of looking thing. Obviously it's become very iconic. And interestingly, Charlie Brooker really has a thing for um, the traffic warden from Fred's, because I know he's dressed up as him for Halloween one year, and then the newspapers were saying, why is he dressed up as a traffic warden, clearly not getting the reference. Um, but yeah, there you go, so that's the um, Fred's Traffic Warden sort of look. Quite an easy costume to put together because, as said, Fred's was made on a very low budget for how effective a film it was. So, um, yeah, you also probably want some stubble and not to be shaved as well because, you know, after the nukes have gone off, people probably aren't very um, focused on shaving. So there's that as well. But there you go. And obviously if you wanted to, you could put some makeup on your face or, you know, have a kind of bruised, cut-up looking face that you would if you'd survive some nuclear uh, megaton blasts, but there you go.